Hey everybody, this is Juliana. Please excuse me for this unprofessional video. Um, I have tried to make this video now. This is probably take eight and now I really empathize with all of you who have YouTube channels who have done so many takes to, to get it right. Anyway, this is going to be backwards because I'm using my photo booth because my camera is not working my iMovie. And I tried to make the video first with my iPhone and it, it was too long and now I'm losing light as you see. So, um, okay, that's better. And um, so this is going to be backwards, but it's the best I can do. And I'm going to share some photos with you too. Um, and you know what? There's no excuse for this bad behavior on my part because I happen to be a professional photographer and that's really my my genre. Um, it I you know I got into crafting just a couple of years ago. Actually, my two year anniversary anniversary will be this this uh, December. And there's no excuse. I have a I have like a top end like six hundred dollar tripod. I've got like the best like DSLR. There's no I've got many cameras. So get it together, Juliana, like let's make real movies, okay? And show these people flips where the text isn't backwards like this, which I'm sorry. So just stick with me. Anyway, um, I hope this works. This is, the, this is how it wraps around, okay? And it was in my stash and it fit the color fit perfectly. If you haven't figured out yet, it's a coffee theme. Look, folks, this is so cute. This is a little coffee cappuccino. Yeah. Came all the way from China because we know that's their, their beverage of choice in China is cappuccino. So um, this is a burlap bag that I was fortunate to get from a coffee bean store, a store that sells coffee beans um, here in Fairfield County. And she gave me a whole bunch of bags from various destinations. You know, the kind of burlap bags that um, if you go into a specialty coffee store, they have the beans stored in them. Um, so I just saw them. I was, it was just great. You know, they're from Indonesia, Mexico. This one's from New Guinea, Papua. So folks, I finally, this was the like, major achievement of 2015 for Juliana was teaching myself how to use a really inexpensive sewing machine that I let sit on top of a shelf for months and not even open because I was terrified of it and I finally one day hunkered down and I thank God for YouTube because I watched the videos and I finally got it together I'm still doing like the, the easy peasy baby stuff, but of course I had to do zigzag. Who doesn't want to do zigzag when you're, you're making these junk journals? Like that's a must. So forgive the, you know, poor sewing skills. Remember that I'm just beginning here. Um, I don't even properly hand sew. So, but anyway, maybe that's the charm here. So I cut up the burlap sack. And I'm um, sorry, this is backwards. And so it's a six by nine envelope. So I want to give credit to Rachel of Jazzy Creations, who makes amazing six by nine envelopes. And I've been really inspired by her work. Um, and also, well, yeah, I'll get to that later. So six by nine envelope. And then the inside, you can't read this, but I'll read it for you. It says, have another cup of coffee and then I got I got these um, coffee themed stamps you can't read this because it's upside down and it's also the backwards but it says how you been <laughs> which is so brilliantly corny and lovely that I just adore it um, I'm not one for uh, quotes or you know in, well the inspirational quotes but I love that it's so cheesy so the papers are from Hobby Lobby because I know some of you like to know the collections but I usually mix up my papers and just to say this is like the first journal it's small it's six by nine so it's five and a half by six inches the first really kind of embellished uh, journal that I made with tucks and tags and cards and stuff so Sewing on the edge here. 
Um, this is some ledger paper, all coffee dyed. I nearly broke my back one day when I did a marathon. This you can't read, but it says 1930, which is kind of cool. And this is a, a Soviet book that is teaching English to Russian students. And I love, I love children's books, but I was in Armenia in the spring and I was fortunate enough to get some Armenian books and some Soviet era books. And so um, certainly I'm not cutting up some of them, but this one uh, I was fine cutting up. So some graph paper, pocket with a card. I'm totally afraid that this is gonna be too long. Anyway, a coffee cup, coffee filter in case you're jonesing for coffee you can just grab this out and make yourself coffee side tuck the beautiful Marilyn having her cup of coffee along with God knows what else to get her going in the morning and then it's the upside down business envelope trick and giving kudos and thanks to again to Rachel of Jazzy Creations who always gives credit where credit is due to the fabulous Marcy. If you haven't seen her videos, you should check them those out too. Um, she's always kind of pushing pushing the envelope and doing craft really creative, funky things with her books. So I use a variety of like different nationalities of coffee on the tags. And I'm um, just going to go through this because it's kind of self-explanatory. The middle is signature, and if you can see, there are little hearts. So when I was baking the paper, I made these little heart masks. Um, the upside-down uh, envelope on the other side, and of course the best part, the window. And you can see the woman kissing the smoke coming off of her coffee. How luxurious. And Miss Haiti, representing, representing the coffee of Haiti. And a little sewed pocket. And my first Martha Stewart punch, folks. Time to celebrate. Time to get out the bubbly. Okay. <laughs> Whoops, oops, I dropped something. Okay. And let's see. This is the other side of the Russian, and you can't see it, the Cyrillic, but I actually can read you some. It says, Posmetritie na kartinki i skajitie. I studied Russian in high school, and I still actually remember some. I can actually still read Cyrillic, but I'm a little shy because there's a Russian in the house, um, and so I don't want her to hear me. And correct me I'm afraid she might wrap me on the back of my knuckles so that's it folks the back pocket and then I have the envelope which I'm going to magnetize because I've got my supplies out here in Connecticut and then I got I found this this is the back of the the book it's got an eyelet um, to hold it and this this is really cute this is like a picture of uh, women of uh, probably the World World War II era drinking black coffee because they're tough and they're making the missiles for the boys abroad. So um, this is, yeah, this is a little card tag that goes inside. And that's it. So I think I, I, think I made it. And um, my hair. Anyway, um, we got through this. And I'm going to really try to do this the professional way the next time. Okay, thank you guys, and thank you for inspiring me all the time. Okay, bye.